All right, I was able to get 12 circles out of my two pie crusts. Now I'm bringing in my silicone muffin tin and I'm going to place my pie circles right into each muffin hole just like this. This is gonna be such an easy and delicious breakfast. So great for Easter brunch or Sunday brunch, which I know this spring we are all gonna be brunching. This is gonna be delicious. Everyone will love it and you can customize it to your liking. So we're just starting off with our pie crust in our muffin tin for the best breakfast you've never had before. All right, we are placing our last pie crust circle. Now you can make homemade pie crust if that is your style. Just make sure it's extra buttery and flaky. Beautiful. We're going to go ahead and put that to the side and I'm going to come in with eight eggs that I pre-cracked and in my eggs I'm going to bring some half and half and this is going to make it extra fluffy. We're going to add about half a cup of half and half into our eight eggs. Now I'm gonna just keep this simple with the seasoning. I have some black pepper, but you can season this however you like. I say that with all of my recipes and I really do mean it. Now, of course, with black pepper, we gotta put its best friend in there. So I have some sea salt that we're gonna sprinkle in there. All right, that looks perfect. Now it is time to whisk these eggs up. We want to give them a nice scramble because they're going to go right into our mini pie crust. This is going to be so good, you guys. Everyone in my family loves it. It's just decadent and f makes you feel fancy and everyone gets their own individual breakfast. It's better than Eggs Benedict, in my opinion, but you guys will just have to try it out for yourself to find out. So just make sure to really get those yolks. We don't want any yolks. We want this to be completely yellow. It should be a beautiful Easter yellow by the time we're done scrambling it. All right, that's the yellow we're looking for. Go ahead and take your whisk out, bring back that muffin tin, and now it is time to pour our egg mixture right into our muffin tin, just like this. You don't want to overflow it because not only will the eggs puff up, we are going to add some delicious breakfast ingredients to these. So we want to make sure we have room for whatever breakfast add-ins you want. But just quickly get this in there. I'm going to use eight eggs because that seems to be the perfect amount for a dozen of these little egg cups. Okay, there we go. These look nice and full. It is time for the add-ons. All right, you guys know my favorite ingredient in the whole world, garlic. I just have a little baby spoon and we're gonna throw some garlic right in there. Call me crazy. If you don't like garlic, don't add it. My family is obsessed. If you know my sister, Jen L, she puts garlic in everything too. And it is so worth it. I'm just adding about a half a teaspoon of garlic into each of these. You could mix it, mix it in with the egg if you like, but I always feel like it just sinks to the bottom of the egg mixture and it doesn't get evenly distributed. So I'm adding it to each one. Perfect. Now my meat of choice is gonna be some bacon bits, but you could do some sausage crumbles or some diced ham, whatever you like for breakfast, throw it in there. These are just mini quiches. Isn't that so perfect for brunch? It's gonna be a hit, I promise you. The crusts are gonna be golden brown, and then that egg is just gonna be the perfect consistency. You could even do a combination, do one row with bacon, one row with sausage, and one row with ham, but I am making these for me and my sister and my fiance, and this is how we like it, okay? Delicious. All right, last but not least, my second favorite ingredient, cheese. We're using Tillamook triple cheddar. Go ahead and get a decent amount of cheese in there. Oh, see, look, they're overflowing. Maybe you guys can do seven eggs instead of eight because eight might have just been a little too much, but that's okay. We will make sure that these are beautiful by the time they get out of the oven. The oven is preheating right now and it is gonna be so good. Okay, 
think that looks good. All right, you guys, we're finally finished. These are gonna go in the oven. My oven is set to 350 and they're gonna cook for about 40 minutes. Oh my, these smell incredible. Okay, it is time to just pop them out. I love using the silicone because it will just come right out just like that. Woo, be careful, they will be hot. Oh my goodness. All right, now we're gonna add our sriracha. I'm only adding it to a few because not everyone likes the heat, but just do a nice little drizzle on these. Oh my goodness, my breakfast is not complete without a little bit of sriracha. Perfect. Now to add a little bit of freshness, I have my chives. It's good to have that sriracha on there so that the chives have something to stick to. We're just gonna grab a few of these. We are just going to cut these right on top of our little quiches. How adorable are these? Literally the perfect size, individual size for brunch. Everyone will be happy. They can eat, you know, one or they can eat five, depending on how hungry they are. You can even make these as a meal prep for the week because these are gonna be good for a week in your fridge or your freezer, just pop them in your toaster oven. Okay, these look delicious. It is time to give it a try. Mmm, 